Hey everyone, welcome to Planes Overhead. Uh, we are continuing with our radio navigation series and today we are doing secondary surveillance radar. Standard disclaimer that has been uh, there for all, uh, all this time. So what is SSR, secondary surveillance radar? It uh, receives pulses transmitted by the target in response to interrogation pulses. So you have an interrogator which is on the ground, okay? And uh, that is asking for information from the aircraft. The aircraft has a transponder, which is a transmitter and a receiver. So once it is asked for some information, it transmits back to the ground station, which is called the interrogator. So it requires an aircraft to be fitted with a transmitter or receiver called as the transponder. The transponder transmits information in pulse coded form when it is interrogated by the ground station called the interrogator. So what are the advantages of SSR? Uh, it requires much less transmitting power because there's no echo principle happening here like the primary radar. So that is the reason. Range is 200 to 250 nautical miles. It is not dependent on aircraft echo anymore. Clutter-free responses can be obtained because it's very specific to a particular aircraft. Accuracy is improved because it's point to point. It can indicate aircraft details uh, such as ground speed, altitude, etc. It can also help in indicating emergencies, which we shall just talk about in a bit. So SSR frequencies and transmissions. The ground station or the interrogator transmits on 1030 megahertz. The aircraft transmits or transponds on 1090 megahertz. So by keeping separate frequencies, we are able to improve the accuracy and pinpoint which aircraft that we are looking for. The ground station transmits a narrow beam, uh, which is specific to the direction that it's looking for. And the aircraft, however, transmits an omnidirectional circular pattern beam. Okay, direction in all, uh, all directions, the aircraft will transmit. So we have three modes here. Mode A, which is uh, the basic mode, is only for identification purposes. You'll get the call sign only. Then you have mode C, which is for identification and uh, also it transmits automatic pressure altitude information. Okay. Mode S is the latest one, which is the most commonly available on commercial jets nowadays. Is the for identification with selective addressing and improved data handling. Okay, so more data can be sent on the mode S transponder. So mode A and C, uh, mode A is the basic version okay which just gives identification the call sign of the aircraft mode c adds an additional information of altitude okay it provides information up to an altitude of 128000 feet with the gap of every 100 feet okay you have increments of 100 feet available mode a and c have 4096 identification codes that can be given okay so a squawk code is given to each aircraft which is entered into the uh, panel okay so then there are some special codes that are also given for uh, uh, kind of emergency situation if you have unlawful interference such as hijacking 7500 if you have radio failure 7600 any emergencies such as you know you have pilot incapacitation or emergency descent anything of that sort 7700 and uh, 2000 if there is no specific instruction given generally on the ground it is 2000 then you can remember it as ice okay interference communication and emergency in the order just to remember it 757677 easier way to remember then what are the disadvantages a uh, gobbling is possible okay aircraft closer than 1.7 nautical mile within each other may have overlapping replies okay because uh, the the mode a and c may not be that selective like the mode s okay so there are chances that they may have overlapping replies fruiting uh, this is interference at one interrogator caused by replies from an aircraft responding to another interrogator okay so it can happen that the interrogation can get interfered upon when even not asked for okay uh, there are only 4096 codes available so to overcome all of this we have mode s uh, which is as a complement to mode a and c okay so there are you know one lakh uh, one crore 67 lakh 
codes available which can be allocated to individual aircraft on permanent basis and hence there's no gobbling or fruiting because it's more specific and more point to point height increments uh, now are enhanced to 25 feet however the displays on the atc panel right now in the towers are maintained at 100 feet but it can be utilized up to 25 feet so it will improve the vertical separation of course voice communications are reduced because the amount of data that can be transmitted on modes is a lot lot so you need to communicate less on voice channels like vhf okay so yeah that's it for this video uh, there's a quiz link in the description please check that out thank you for watching guys subscribe to the channel like the facebook page and give this video a thumbs up if you like this share it with your friends comment below if you have any doubts and of course i just told you that check out the link in the description you can always get back to me on the links on your screen cheers and happy landings guys take care bye bye